Hi, this is Catherine Roseland with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting with Eric Anuiz from Flatline Games, and he's here to talk about Argo. Hello. So please tell me about the game. Yeah, the game. So the game is the, the latest game from uh, Bruno Feduti and Serge Lager. So two new kids on the block. Yeah, Bruno Feduti did uh, Masquerade, uh, did Citadels. Uh, Serge Lager did Marine Nostrum. Uh, together they did uh, um, Murder at the Abbey, uh, Mission Red Planet, and. Uh, other titles. Uh, so this is the latest design, uh, which has been a very long time in the making. We spent okay. a lot of time developing it. Um, it was published through Kickstarter, and now we have a fantastic product in the end. Uh, fantastic. With, uh, lots of miniatures, which yeah, are fantastic. very high quality. Yeah, lots of different types of miniatures and it, this really was, high quality. This was thanks to a partnership with Heidelberger as well, uh, which allows us to have a bigger print run. And, nice. um, We'll go right away for the, the big stuff. And so, the general idea of the game is uh, we have a team of uh, astronauts. Um, each player has five guys. And we are... And some girls. Yes, and some girls, of course. <laughs> Very important. And we are waking up in the waking station, uh, in the waking room of a space station. Uh, and there are several issues with that. All right. The first issue is that we were supposed to be in uh, cryostasis in a transport. And so something happened. To wake uh, us up. Yeah, but it's a few too, and sometimes uh, we know that uh, organ traffickers do uh, derode transport, so maybe that happened. But uh, that's not the most pressing issue. The most pressing issue is that uh, we have the computer telling that he's waking people from stasis because there are aliens into the stations. Ah. So we have to right away get out, find the shuttles, and get away, escape. Very far from here, yeah. Um, this is in no way a cooperative game. Uh, right. It's every man for itself because we have here a set of shuttles and, and each shuttle has amount. two seats and there are less seats than people in the station. So there, there will be problems. Um, the game itself plays in a way that you can be nasty. So if we are both running in one of the, the, the cramped corridors of the space station and there is an alien behind, I might want to trip you so that you slow down the alien. The alien will grab you yeah. instead of me. And so that would uh... give me points in the game, uh, but it would give points to the alien as well, because we have a track, uh, and each time someone dies, it will be placed on the track, and as you see, the numbers rise, and the aliens get points. Ah. Much faster than the humans. Uh, at the end of the game, if the winner has less points than the aliens, is not the winner, everybody has lost. If we fill the whole line, everybody loses as well. You get to the skull yeah. over here, I'm assuming, yeah. So we have to find so some... It's a bit of cooperation, you know, you have to make sure that yeah. the, the alien doesn't win, but at the same time, you want to make sure your people survive. There is indeed a modicum of cooperation that is needed. A smidge. Uh, yeah, yeah, but um, of course, the plays are limited and if you don't get one of these seats, you will die in the station. Exactly. So that's really uh, a balance you have to strike between pure competition and cooperation. Furthermore, if you are way ahead of the other players, they might decide that, well, there might be no winner after all, and they start, oh, start pushing for their the people. Aliens. So <laughs> you either have not to lead too much, or you have to make it so that you place the aliens in a way that the other players cannot use them against you or against them uh, when worse come to worst. So it's really uh, a delicate balance you have to find. Uh, the gameplay itself is really simple. Um, turn, um, turn Shokyo is I move an alien, he can kill someone, if it does I get a point. Then I get two actions which are move or activate. Uh, I have several rooms with several effects and the room have a capacity. Corridors one guy, rooms two guys. So if and this that's is this, so, uh, this meeple symbol that you yeah, see the here. Meeple is, symbol, it indicates yeah. how many it people can be in the, the room. The capacity of the room. Um, so here on the side, I have um, my blue robot here in the um, in the corridor. If someone gets out here, there is too much room. So the active player chooses it has to go there or there, and so on. And it's it can result along. in a whole chain of pushing that will uh, do things like. Um, um, if I do this, it will push there, there is room for two, no problem. If this one comes, it will push, 
No room, we push this one, but this is the a teleporter, so it will send the guy back or to another teleporter. And you get lots of effects that interact with each other. So there's lots of chain reactions yeah, going on. It's, Interesting. It's uh, lots of planning, lots of puzzle. That's the more part of uh, Serge Lager. And um, there is a lot of things which can happen between the players' turns. Uh, so there is a bit of chaos. That's the part of uh, Bruno Ferruti. So it's really the game which shows uh, what they do as out uh, oh. both of them in the same game. Fantastic. Uh, how, how many players does it play? I see there are five different colors here. Uh, so. Yeah, four colors. So uh, four, we can see four, four players. Uh, and the game plays two to four players, uh, usually 30, 40 minutes. And it's not, there's not one person that plays the aliens no, themselves. No, no. Everyone plays the aliens. So on, uh, if I have something like that and it's my turn, uh, I must move the alien so I could do that, so I, I could be nasty and move the alien here and uh, kill this guy actually because this one is a robot and he's not edible. Um, and then I place a new tile and then, then you take your turn. I take my turn, yeah. So everybody plays the aliens. And you have to find some balance with that as well. Very interesting. How long does the game typically take to play? Uh, typically 30, 40, 30, 40 minutes. And uh, with all these beautiful figures, you would think it would be you know, only theme and no no real yeah, but it's, uh, it's like more strategy, but it seems like there's a lot of strategy. In the way it plays. Yeah, it's, really, it's really more new in the way you play because you have to plan ahead a lot. Uh, there is absolutely no random factor in the game because uh, when I place a new tile, I pick from these three. Do you know what's uh, coming? Yeah, the shuttle, you know in which order they're coming. Uh, you can have an idea of what the other players will do in a given situation. So the, the randomness is low. But every time you play, the re replayability is really high because the, the station is different. Each yeah, time. it'll be set up yeah. completely different. Very and interesting. Everybody loves tiles. Of course. Everybody and loves miniatures. So. Who doesn't like a good miniature? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. That is Argo from Flatline Games.